Steam Sundays, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Many couples who want a child struggle with infertility, but today's Sunday Steam profiles a woman who can help. That's right. Amber Lee joins us now again with this doctor's story. Amber. Hi, guys. So a local woman is helping couples reach their dream of becoming parents by creating human life in a lab dish. I headed to Encino to meet this professional baby maker. We're creating a new life almost every day. I'm sure my science teachers, if they see this, <laughs> will be shocked. Edwina Blue is first and foremost a people person. That she landed a STEAM career isn't something she ever expected. Edwina works in an Encino fertility clinic. I am a clinical embryologist. She makes embryos. An embryo is a future baby, a future person, so um, that's what we're basically cultivating in the lab, <laughs> future people. I took the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab out to see how it happens. Hi, I'm Amber Lee. I brought the Mobile Weather Lab. Hi, I'm from Edwina. Welcome to the Fertility Institute. <laughs> All right, we'd love to check out your lab from my lab to yours. Great. Inside Edwina's lab, there's a window. On the other side of that window, a doctor, nurses, and a patient who wants to be a parent but needs help getting pregnant. While we were there, an egg retrieval was happening. Edwina and her team were processing eggs being collected from a mystery patient. Once the eggs slide through the window, Edwina's work begins. We use an ornate sort of equipment structure that injects very finely one sperm into one egg. Once that happens... The next day we check for fertilization, which is the same sort of time period that would happen naturally. If the cells multiply and divide... Two cell to six cell to... and so on and so on. Over the next few days, Edwina will monitor their health, then choose which embryos are most likely to succeed in the womb. That is what we've chosen to hopefully become a pregnancy. Edwina wasn't drawn to science or math as a youngster, but is glad she took her studies seriously enough to stumble upon her passion. It's amazing how you can find little tunnels and pathways that you never thought that you were cut out for. Edwina's first embryos are now four-year-old children, and the cells she's working with today could be a baby in less than a year. You think to yourself, I wonder if this will be the next president or the next Elon Musk. There's a lot of responsibility and a lot of excitement because you hope that one day it will be someone special and obviously someone very special to the family. 